Hey guys, I'm Daisho and I'm here bringing you some magic and today I'm going to be playing some Sepulchral, Sepulchral Strength. Um, this sounds okay. It's a little bit interesting. I got a couple of scoop mobs, um, but, and I have four lands and you need five. Hey, you gotta be my elder. I should probably play one of these, shouldn't I? Huh. Well, it's a good thing you have two main phases because when you're stupid enough to go through your first one without playing anything, you still get a second one. That's, that's probably why they invented it, right? Yeah, that's gotta be it. Okay, so he's playing the mill deck. I don't know why it always seems like I'm playing either for or against the mill deck. It would have been nice to draw the Mordevor against the mill deck, but if I do end up drawing one of the Lord of Extinctions, then the game should end pretty quickly from there. So, I'm just gonna attack here for one damage. And now I hit my fifth land, so once I get there, He's going to start taking a decent amount of damage, considering these things get, what, four counters? Uh, yeah, four plus one plus one counters. So they'll become a 5-5 five five the first turn, and then it'll just get keep getting bigger from there. But that is turn five, and sometimes the mill deck can go a little bit faster than that, so we'll see. Um, these Yami My Elders are really not such great draws against that deck. They're very good against decks that try and kill your creatures, but against ones that... All they really... Maybe I should just play one anyway, because I don't really want to lose a troll aesthetic. I don't really care that much, I suppose. Um, but against decks that want to mill me out, I don't really want to be taking cards out of my library with the Abimai Elder, which, if you sacrifice it, it'll take three cards out of your library, and then it draws one, and you put two from... For, two lands into your hand, so... It's not great. Consuming Vapors. <laughs> it's also not an excellent card in this situation but I will just play this thing as a 2-1 but I'm not going to be sacrificing it anytime soon although my opponent really doesn't have that much momentum in terms of uh, milling me but that might mean he's got four or five um, mana spells that are or five or six mana spells that are pretty powerful into the royal main combat phase okay <laughs> or main phase I don't know why he's doing that but Whatever works for him. In fact, oh, I guess he wanted to see if he could hit a land. That makes sense. Um, may as well play this Evolving Wilds. Because I can't play two spells anyway. And I should go get a Forest. So that way, next turn I can play two of these things if I want to. Oh, I probably should have played one, huh? Oh well, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much it matters, but... I mean, because I'm going to have five lands, so he's going to need to deal with both of these scoop mobs if he wants to survive, but that was really stupid for not playing this thing. I think I just forgot. Er. I don't know. What's what's interesting that I found is I make a lot more mistakes playing duels than I do playing in real life, and I think one of the main reasons is when you're playing in real life, you can read all the cards, and these I can definitely tell what the cards do because I know what they do and by the pictures, but sometimes it really helps when you read the card or when you have... It right in front of your hand, right in front of your face, that way you can actually read it. I don't know. I think I found that to be uh, somewhat of an issue, not a ridiculous issue. Crippling Shell, oh no! And Unsummon, okay. That will, uh, that will buy you a turn. And it would have bought him a turn anyway. See, it didn't matter that I'm terrible. But, I should be able to win next turn still. Pretty much regardless of what he does, because I have that thing. Um, yeah, Scoot Mob's gonna hit him for more damage, so may as well play that instead. The Avi My Elder. So now he's got to, uh, got to deal with my entire board here. Doesn't seem that easy, although one of the Scoot Mobs isn't untapping. But if any of the other two creatures get in, even if he deals with the Scoot Mob, he still has to deal with both this and this. Or actually, no, he only has to deal with one of them next turn. So, he has to deal with two more creatures. He's got six cards in hand, so it's not impossible, but... It does seem unlikely. <laughs> this thing is getting gigantic. But it doesn't really matter at this point how big they are. There's another troll aesthetic. Alright, so he's got another crippling chill, and I guess another unsummoner into the royal or something. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, he's got another into the royal. Bounce. Yavi Maya bro. And I'll take him down to one here, which is fine. And then I can play Troll Aesthetic and the Yavi My Elder. Or actually, maybe I'll just play this Troll Aesthetic. Actually, yeah, I'll play both. 
He doesn't really have mass removal. I mean, he definitely doesn't have anything like mass removal, so I don't need to leave up regenerate. Not a big deal. So, the problem with what he did this game is he didn't do anything to affect the board. All he did was bounce a couple of creatures and... Um, yeah, I mean, his win condition, I guess it was, he was trying to get two traumatized mana, and then kill me, but he had to use all of his mana every turn to stay alive. So, didn't really work out for him, and I get to attack him for, what is this, 21 damage? But, I mean, he did take me down to 14 because that traumatized, so, I guess that, that's something. <laughs> He almost killed me, sort of. I don't know. That game never really seemed close, but I guess it was a little closer than I thought it would be. But yeah, if he's gonna ready up, then I'll... Yeah, alright, cool. Let's play another one. Sepulchral Strength version 2. Um, hmm, this hand's interesting, because I have only forests, no swamps, but Troll Setic is pretty good, and it could probably keep me alive in the game. But since I get a free mulligan, I think I'm just gonna take it. Yeah, this is a little better. <laughs> I've got a swamp and I've got two or three creatures and stuff that I can actually for sure cast. Maybe this one by the time I get there, but probably not. Mainly because um, Mortivore can't be cast unless there are creatures in the graveyard. So, all right. So my opponent is let off with two planes. Could mean um, a number of things. Rancor is a sweet draw. Rancor plus Troll Ascetic. Or even on a Yavi Maya Elder is just really, really powerful. Alright, more planes. Not playing anything though, which is strange. If he is playing Peacekeepers, you'd expect him to play some spells. Um, Alright, there's a Maelstrom Pulse. Gotta love that card. I think we're just gonna lead off with the Yavi Maya Elder in case he's got some removal or something like that. I want a uh, Yavi Maya Elder to take it rather than Troll Aesthetic. Actually, trolls that it can't really get removed, huh? All right, so he's playing the Aura deck, um, which means that I just want to kill him as fast as possible. Though Maelstrom Pulse may come in handy, um, especially if he's playing Core Spirit Dancer. All right, so let's attack here, and there's no point. I mean, I could Diabolic Edict or like hold up for it to try and two for one him, but it won't two for one him because he's gonna get to draw a card off of that thing anyway. So um, rather than that, although I guess I could have played Rancor plus. Diabolic Edict. It would, probably would have been a pretty good turn. But I could do that next turn if I don't draw land. I could just Maelstrom Pulse the creature or whatever. Maybe I should have just uh, Diabolic Edicted so he couldn't cycle one of his auras. I don't know. The good thing about... Um, huh, okay, so now Diabolic Edict is pretty dead. Which is he putting? He's putting it on Invisible Stalker. But, um, yeah, this is not going as well as I had hoped it would. Alright, well, there's a land. That's pretty sweet. So, I'm going to Rancor up my troll and get on in there. And I'm probably just going to Maelstrom Pulse his Core Spirit Dancer here. Mainly because I can't play any of my other spells because I played Rancor. But, Rancor was still a really good spell to play there. So, he could play something like Daybreak Coronet next turn. And if he does, then I just really hope he doesn't play it with another creature. Because then I'm probably going to lose. <laughs> but if he taps out for like an Umbra, like a big Umbra, Drake Umbra, Mammoth Umbra, then I will probably win this game. Because, yeah, there you go. That was just a really, it was really fortunate that he played right into the cards that I had. But... This game definitely could have gone differently if he had had like a smaller creature or something like that. And a Daybreak Coronet. And then I would have been in worse shape. So. Alright, so I can actually still play something here. And I am going to try and get some more value out of this Diabolic Edict to make it completely backbreaking. Um. Like, even even now, he just thinks I'm holding up for regen or, like, sacrifice Yavi my Elder. And there's no reason for him to suspect that I have Diabolic Edict. There's only a couple of them in the deck. Maybe there's three. I don't know. Two or three. But all I have to do is just make sure 
that I use it before he plays a spell or like as he's playing or actually just before he plays another creature um, all right what does this one do this one doesn't matter <laughs> okay it'll just let him draw cards but that's not gonna happen because I'm just gonna go like that and it really sucks that um, Umbra doesn't protect him from this but that's the way it works so is that like a four for one <laughs> um, but yeah that's that's actually just the game unless he's got another cre okay he's got a pacifism for this that still is not gonna cut it because he's gonna take eight and that is going to be the game Sepulchral Strength is just really powerful. I mean, there's so many value creatures and um, good removal spells that this deck is just super good. Man, pacifying a Yami Maya Elder is pretty much the worst thing you can do. Because if I, I mean, if the game wasn't over, I would be able to sacrifice it and draw, get two lands, draw a card. It would have been pretty good value.